by region based on local infection rates. Short answer is, I think it's likely that we will have some sort of regional separation in the NHS. Uh, 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 uh,
done here because he should, we should be introducing him as president. But we have great opportunities. Delaware has taught us anything's possible. And anything's possible in this country. So God bless you all. Great stuff for the president there. They're referring to his son, Bird, who also died of cancer in 2015. Hugo Lau is national political reporter based in Washington, D.C. But is regularly in the Telegraph and the Independent and joins me now. Okay, Hugo, uh, once sworn in, what does the president need to do, in your view? Good morning. Good morning. I think President uh, uh, Biden, as it will be later today, has a very uh, tough time ahead of him. He's got during, during problems with the COVID uh, pandemic and with a deeply divided country. And I think transition aides tell me that he will be talking a lot about unity and about trying to heal a deeply divided nation in his speech uh, when he takes the oath of office today. here, what will you be covering? What will people see you go today? I think it's still a very tense atmosphere in DC and the insurrection that happened on January 6 is still etched deeply into the minds of, of, of every American, but particularly uh, those working on, on the Capitol Hill. Um, you know, we have 25,000 National Guard troops, FBI, DC Metro Police, US Capitol Police, 12 National Guard members today were removed from the security detail because they uh, demonstrated that they had ties to fringe right-wing groups, so I think it's a bit that's pretty much still there. And Trump's words have really um, incited a real animus in a lot of his supporters, and this is something that the Biden administration is going to have to deal with, but it's also something they have to deal with uh, today at the immigration. Okay, you're going to be busy. Hugo, thank you. Hugo Lau, Freelance Journalist, joining me from Washington, though you catch his work regularly in the Telegraph and the Independent. All right, let's come to your reactions on that. Well, I should tell you, it was full coverage, LBC special here, with my colleague Eddie there, starting from four, so you won't miss a thing. You'll hear it all with Eddie. Most importantly, you'll have all the analysis as well. Andrew's in Halifax. Looking forward to it, Andrew. The inauguration, that is. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, no, I'm actually glad I'm spending the day at work today. Why, sir? Well, because I think we've got a taste of how the coverage is going to be when I turn on the TV this morning. But I think part one will be the entire morning spending hashing Trump's character and his achievements in office. And, and then, of course, we'll move on to part two where Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, will be hailed as uh, Jesus Christ incarnate. And, well, um, yes, I think he's got his work. Well, it's not really my thing. Yeah, I think he's got his work cut out. Just lastly, we're going to be assessing the work of President Trump later in the show. And Andrew, how would you want him to be remembered politically? Well, I think I think the most stressful piece of coverage I heard this morning was on Sky News when uh, the reports of little his achievements of reconciliation between various Arab states and Israel as a small prize. Uh, I actually think President Trump has done more to improve Israel-Arab relations than any president post-war. Uh, he also has presided over, you know, pre-COVID, a very good uh, and booming American it was economy. Record employment, record investment. Absolutely. But, but he, um, let's be honest, his his the way he's handled COVID has been close to abysmal, Andrew. Well, I think the way a lot of countries have handled sure. COVID uh, has sure. been close to abysmal. But I think what really, really annoys me is that a party that has spent uh, months last summer staying absolutely quiet while American cities were crashed and burned quality. Now the gods sit there and criticize him for preaching uh, about law and order. Andrew, thank you. Do stay tuned to LBC. You'll have analysis, of course, and your opportunity to hear different viewpoints with Eddie Bear from Fall. Thank you for that. Have a safe day. Let's talk schools. Come back to the domestic agenda. Sandra's in Birmingham. Are you a teacher, Sandra? Is that correct? Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yes, I am. Yeah. How's the? Are you going into work today? Because, of course, we do have pupils still.
attending if you are going in. How how school's working for you and for the pupils currently? Um, yeah, I am going in. Um, I just wanted to make a point quickly. I said that a lot of people told me that, you know, the teachers and staff don't have the